Hey, I'm back. You know, another day um, on the air fry. Yes, you can see I really like this thing. Um, today, I'm actually gonna cook some uh, pork loin ribs in the air fryer. Um, you can season them how you like, but I'm gonna show you how, uh, how I do it. Biggest thing here is just to show you the before and after, you know, the results of uh, what the air fryer can do. So here we go, we got some uh, ribs right here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna keep it very basic. I'm just gonna use some uh, brown sugar, um, a little bit of a, a adobo. Ran out of garlic, so um, I'm losing out on that or missing out, but this is a, a real basic dry rub, uh, super basic, just to give it some flavoring. Um, I can't really get crazy with it, you know, um, I'm not the only one eating here, so I can't spice it up, you know, so. Let's take it from there. Here we go. Ribs are done. Got the little dry rub on it. And um, we're gonna add them to the air fryer. But just to show you that the air fryer can do some multiple things, I'm gonna show you what else I'm adding. And some french fries. I still have some french fries left in the fridge. You know, so um, figure I throw those in there also. I mean, I've done different dual things like this, but just have to watch them. But uh, let's get to it. Yeah, you can see the coloring on that, that looks beautiful. Look at that. So, I'm gonna actually put the ribs on the bottom. Fries on the top. The reason why I'm doing it like that is because the ribs might tend to drip a little bit. I don't want them dripping on my fries, so I want my fries to be crisp. And, here we go, we're back at it again. Cabin door closed. You know what? 20 minutes, 400 degrees. There we go. See you guys in 20 minutes. So we're about eight minutes shy of being done. Let me just check on things. I already checked and the fries are more than done. Yes. So I'm gonna take those out. And let this finish doing its thing. You can see they actually look pretty good. commence to the cooking. Actually doing that on um, the air fryer, the air, from what I understand, circulates from the top down. So removing the fries, it's actually gonna allow the, uh, the meat to cook a little faster. I've noticed that when I tried to cook two trays of say fried chicken, yes, I've done fried chicken on here. Uh, halfway through, you have to switch the bottom to the top, top to the bottom. You know, if you want anything to cook evenly. That's like the only downfall. And like what I said before about if I put the meat on top, you notice that it is actually dripping. You know, I didn't want that to go on my fries, but um, I got a little time left. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're all complete. Um, I let it finish out its time. Let's see what we have. Whoa, look at that. Oh my lordy. Well, try to make this one a quick one, but um, this is cooking in the uh, the air fryer, Chefman air fryer. I mean, you can cook everything or anything in it, just like I cook my fries in here also. So um, everybody, thank you for viewing and good night.